Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Llama 3.2 locally on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, recently I've discovered that Meta released uh, some new models. Uh, they released a 3.2 1 billion and the 3.2 3 billion parameter uh, models. And usually the ones I've been dabbling with on my Python projects, I've been using the 8 billion one because... Um, it's uh, I don't have an NVIDIA GPU. I'm one of the few that runs uh, Arc GPU, and so it runs purely on uh, CPU when you use uh, Olama. And so it's been the fastest that I could get the Llama 3.1. Uh, but then I saw that they released the 1 billion parameter and the 3 billion par parameter, and it runs wicked fast on my regular system. So I thought, I wonder if a Pi, a Raspberry Pi 5, can run these models? And the answer is yes. Uh, of course, while using Olama, and um, it actually runs the 1 billion parameter pretty fast. The 3 billion, you can do, you see it kind of uh, all the words coming one at a time. Um, but uh, the 1 billion one runs pretty well. I was very surprised. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, so, of course, I'm running a Raspberry Pi 5 8 gig. I haven't tried it on a 4. Uh, or I haven't tried it on a Pi with less RAM. Um, so this is, um, I'm assuming, best case scenario. But uh, yeah, so this is the Raspberry Pi 5 with 8 gigs of RAM. Um, so the first thing you want to do, of course, the first thing is going to be to update all your stuff. Uh, I already did it, so it's not going to do anything. But make sure you update your Raspberry Pi to... The latest version and then i always reboot but like i said all my packages are up to date i already up upgraded them as well uh so once you do that you can go to the github or you can also go to the website uh you olama.com you can just press download and well you can download it based on whatever system in this case like i said we're using the raspberry pi 5 so we can just use the linux um and i'm just going to use the sim command which is here and like I said, I already installed it. I haven't actually tried it with it installed and see what happens, but let's try it anyways. Uh, and it's not working here. One moment, please. There we are. So, sorry about that. I It's always a hassle copying and pasting between, you know, my I'm using a VM, the Pi Connect, to access SSH to my Raspberry Pi. It's always a hassle to copy and paste between the, the screens. But here you go. I just went into the GitHub here. Uh, and so, yeah, like I said, you go to GitHub, the Olama GitHub, and it has a Linux command here. You just copy that and paste it to the uh, terminal on your Pi. Uh, it will only take a moment. It actually doesn't take very, very long. Uh, once it does <coughs> all of that, it's pretty much good to go. Uh, you can then run this one i believe runs the uh base a three billion parameter one uh if you run this one it will download the one billion parameter one and uh you can use it from then let me take a look see if it finished uh hasn't finished just yet all right let me just fast forward so you don't have to sit here and watch it download okay and so see if you if you notice uh, it did say no NVIDIA AMD GPU detected, so Llama will run CPU only mode. That's what happens to my system. Um, it doesn't, the R GPU, they haven't um, made it available uh, for it to be used. So I also run it CPU. <coughs> and my CPU, excuse me, and my CPU is, is pretty good. It's decent, but um, it's it's not anywhere near the performance of a uh, graphics card, either an NVIDIA or an AMD. Um, so this one is going to run CPU, but surprisingly, like I said, the 3.21 billion runs very, very well. I was very surprised. Uh, so let's just, let's test it out. Why am I talking about it when I can just show you? So let's open up, copy that, and let's just paste it here and press enter. Okay. And it finished. <clears throat> now the, I already had it installed. So when I ran that command before, you would see it very similar to, uh, this you're going to see it download before it actually triggers the send a message command a prompt I mean so uh, it, you'll see it download once it downloads then it won't it won't download every time you once you just put the llama run llama 3.2 uh, colon 1b and it will think just for a minute and then it'll be able it will start so let's try it out hello my name 
Okay, Silver, how are you? Okay, it's thinking. And nice to meet you, Silver. There you go. And so you're officially running now Olama and using the 3.2 Llama 1 billion parameter. Uh, it is very cool that you can run this on a Raspberry Pi 5. And like you, like I said, surprisingly fast. It does run the uh, 3 billion parameter as well. It's a little slower, but let's try it out. The, uh, the What I did to exit out is Control D. That is the way you exit out of the chat. Uh, now, I believe also, just a heads up, it does not, it cannot hold a conversation. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, it, it can, it's not able to run a, hold a conversation because it is per, per instance. So I, I do plan on doing some projects with it, maybe making a chat bot, uh, or, or, uh, you know, with Python and all that. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe and, and, and turn on the notification so you can see those projects in the pipeline that I'm working on. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Now we're running the regular Llama 3.2 with the 3 billion parameter. Let's say, let's say the same message. So hello, my name is Silver. How are you? <laughs> and if you notice, it will run a bit slower. Uh, it does seem to be taking a little extra and, but surprisingly still pretty fast. It's very cool, very surprising how fast it is. Uh, just because of the parameter size is not as big. But uh, I think it's working great. It's so cool. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some future projects using this. Um, maybe things we can do using the 1 billion that we can run on, on a Pi. Haven't thought about that yet. But um, maybe some other things like a chatbot or things of that nature. So go ahead and stay. please stick around and subscribe so that you can see those videos in the future and enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy making them. Uh, so thank you again, and you guys have a great one. Thanks for watching.